Now, I've been a fully paid up user of WP Vivid Backup Pro for many years. I've used it successfully on mine and clients' websites, and I've created a range of tutorials on how to use it to migrate sites, create staging sites, and so much more using the free and the pro versions. Link to all those in the description should you want to check them out. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at Database Merging Pro, the latest addition to WP Vivid. Now, this is a sponsored video by WP Vivid, but as always, I'll give you no opinions. I'm simply going to demonstrate how this all works, and then you can make an informed decision for yourself whether you want to take a look at this and purchase it for your own use cases. So the most important thing here is you're probably wondering, how does this all work? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. And there's basically four simple steps in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at how everything works. Now, I've installed the WP Vivid database merging plugin, and I've also installed the free version of WP Backup, and I'll show you why. So once we've installed those two, we get two new entries. The first thing we're going to do is make a staging site so we can use this as our development site, not our live production site, making sure that everything we do is done safely without having an impact on the main production site that the users are using. So to do that, we're going to come over into WP Vivid Backup, come to the staging option, and inside there, we're going to say create a staging site. Now, if you don't know what a staging site is, it's basically an identical duplicate of your live site on the same server in this example. And we can test it. We can do all manner of different things to this without making any changes to the live site. Then when we're finished, we can push those changes over. All we need to do is basically accept all the default settings. You don't need to worry about changing anything on here. You could just leave it as it is. We'll click on Create Now. That's going to ask us, are you sure you want to create this? We're going to say, yes, we do. And we're going to let that go ahead. This can take a few minutes to several minutes, depending upon the size of your website, the database, and all the files and things that are associated with it. I'm going to let that run, and then we're going to come back and move on to the next stage. And there we go. After a few minutes, everything has been set up. We now have our identical staging site set up. You can see this gives us the information that we can use to access the home URL or the actual admin itself. So let's go ahead and just jump into the admin and I can show you the differences. You can see we've got the login page. We're going to use exactly the same credentials because this is an identical duplicate of your main live production site. We'll click login. And once we're logged in, we now have an identical copy, including the WP Vivid Backup plugin and the merging plugin as well. And you see this orange bar across the top to let us know that this is a staging site. It's not the actual live site. So now we set that up. We've got a copy of our site. The next thing we want to do is come over into the WP Vivid merging section. We do this on both sites. So we're going to start off, first of all, on our live production site. We'll click to add that in there. And you see the first thing it asks us to do is set whether this is a production site, the live site, or our development staging site, and also to pop in our license for the merging plugin. So we're going to set this as the production live site, and we're going to drop in my serial number, and we're going to click on Apply. We'll click OK. That's now going to verify my license and activate everything. So once we've done that, this now tells us this, this is the production site, and we get this API key. Now, we're going to use that in a moment. Let's hop over into our staging site, again, denoted by this orange banner at the top. Again, we're going to come into WP Vivid Merging. We're going to set this one to be our development staging site. And again, we're going to drop our license key in. Click Apply. Click OK. Let that connect up and verify everything. And there we go. We have now have those all set up. OK, so what we need to do now is it says production site not set yet. Click to connect to the production site. Let's click that. And that now asks us for that API key. So what we're going to do is going to come back over into our live site. We're simply going to select this and copy it. Go back into our staging site and paste it. And click on Connect. That's now going to connect the two of those up, check everything is working the way we need, and the connection is working, and everything is now set up. So those are two sites are now connected. The production site and the development site are linked together. Now, before we do anything else, there's one thing I want to make you acutely aware of. If you have any kind of caching tools, plugins set up on your live and your production sites, make sure you disable them and the same inside your development site. But only while you're setting things up and you're testing and you do everything you need. Otherwise, you may find that there's going to be a bit of an issue because things are being cached and not necessarily set back and forth the way you want them to. Just bear that in mind and be mindful of it. 
So now then, we've already got these now connected up to each other. And because this is a fresh staging site, everything is basically live. Now, if your live site has regular updates, for example, e-commerce taking new orders, or maybe a new site that has regular updates, and your staging site may be online for a few days while you're testing things out, you may want to pull the database from the production to the development site. And this will pull all the data in your database, including all the new updates and so on, over into your development site, making sure that everything is up to date. Because we've got this set up on a fresh staging site, on a test site, everything is up to date. Just bear that in mind that this is very useful if you want to pull that live data over into your development site. Okay, so now that we've got everything set up and connected, we're ready to start making those changes on our development site, testing things out, making sure everything works before we then push it back over to our live site. So how do we do that? It's very straightforward. We've got create a database recording task. Once you select that, that will start recording the things that you do on the development site. So we add new files, we make changes, new posts, new content, new information into the database. All of that is going to be recorded. And this is the key part when you're using the database merging sort of plugin. Make sure before you start making changes, you hit this create a database recording task. So let's select that. This will now start to create a task, and this will start recording everything that's going on behind the scenes when we start to make changes. And you can see this is now telling us, okay, this is now running, the start time, the database records. Now, currently nothing has been changed because obviously we have nothing being changed on the site itself. So let's go make a couple of quick changes. Let's hop over into our pages. Let's go to our home page. Let's make some changes on here. So let's just change this. Let's change the background image. And we'll say we're happy with all those changes. We'll update our page and we'll come back out of here and go back into our WP Vivid merging. So now if we take a look at our task, which has been recorded this whole time, you can see there's 38 queries recorded, six files added. So we've made those changes. Now, obviously our live site is not seeing these changes. So how do we push that back over? Well, this is very easy. You can see we've got merge two. We can select the production site from there. We'll say create a snapshot for your production site before merging. We've already got the WP Vivid backup installed. So this is going to make a backup of the site as it currently is before it makes the actual push over of the new data, the new updates from our development site. Again, hope that makes sense. Let's click on merge now and we'll say, OK, and that's going to go ahead, make that backup on our production site then push all the changes we've made over from the database, the new files that have been uploaded and so on, make those changes on the live site, and then we'll be able to see those changes in action. So let's let this run through. You can see it's already nearly 60% of the way through. And once that's finished, we'll take a look at our live site. And there we go. That's now finished after a minute or two. Click OK. Now, obviously, the time that this is going to take will depend upon the size of the production site, the changes, the live site, all those kinds of things. So bear that in mind. This could take longer or shorter period of time, depending upon the complexity of the site you're working with. OK, so now that's finished. You can see that's already finished the task. It's disabled it, so that's completed that entire task. If you want to make more changes, we simply go ahead and create a database recording task again. You can also choose the option to take a snapshot of the development site before you start recording, so you can always roll back to that should you need to. Again, this is using that WP Vivid Backup, the free version, so there's lots of redundancy being integrated into the way that you work with this. Okay, so that's now finished. Let's over, hop over and take a look at our actual live production site. And there we go. You can see there's our homepage with our changes in place. There's our text change and our background image has been changed. So everything is in place with those changes you just made without having to worry. If you needed to roll back, we've got a backup in place if anything goes wrong. But you can see how quick and easy it is to make changes on your development site, your staging site. Make those changes, then push that over to the live site and also take backups before you make those changes just in case anything happens, the server gets interrupted or a million and one different things could happen. You've always got that redundancy in place to make sure that everything can run smoothly. And if, if anything happens, you can roll back to where everything was perfect and then run the process one more time. Now, speaking of the snapshots, while we're actually on the live production site, you'll see that we've got this snapshot tab. If we click on there, that will show us all of the snapshots that have been taken whenever we've done any of these kind of merging between. So you can see the one I've just done right now 
listed right by there. It tells us all the information about it. And if we wanted to, we can simply click on restore and that will put everything back to the way it was prior to doing that merge. So it's very easy and integrated directly into the panel for your WP Vivid Backup and your Merging Pro plugin. Now, by default, there are six snapshots being stored at any one time. But if that's not enough, you can simply come over to the settings tab and you can see you can adjust this up to 12. You can also do things like enable quick snapshot to pop that up into the top toolbar. There's a couple of different settings inside you. So I recommend exploring this and setting it up the way that you want it to be set up. Jumping back over to our development site, you can see there's a different range of options. If we hop into the settings inside here, you can see we can data transfer encryption, so we can apply encryption to this, we can paste our public key in there. So to make sure that any information that's being transitioned between the live and production site is encrypted, especially useful if you're on different servers dealing with this side of things and you want to make sure it can't get interrupted or intercepted, you can use data encryption. You can see we've got, again, the same snapshot retention inside you, which we can set from three up to 12. You can schedule records optimization. You can set your parameters for your merging. As you can set up things like your PHP, you can modify these kind of things. So if you find things time out, you can adjust the, the amount of memory, the timeout time, all those kinds of different things that allows you to customize and tweak this. And if you want to exclude specific folders, you could also do that directly inside you, simply by checking this box and then dropping in any of the folder names you want to exclude from this. And if you accidentally make a mistake between setting the live site or the production site, or you just want to disable everything, you can just click on the remark now, and this is on the same on the development site and the production site, and that will kind of reset everything back to what it was originally before you connected everything up and joined those sites together. So all those options inside there, you've also got logs inside here, so you can see exactly what's going on. So if you find any issues or you just want to keep a store of logs, all that information is inside you, and you can download these at any time. And you've got system info then about the actual service server that you're on. So that's how easy it is. And if this is something you're only going to do periodically and you don't need that staging site to be left there all of the time, you can simply hop over into your production site, come over to the staging section, and underneath there, you can see we've got the option to delete our staging site. If we hit that, that will delete it completely from the server. And then you can create another one when you want to make changes again in the future. So you don't end up with a duplicate copy taking up space and resources on your server when you don't actually need it. So there we go. You can see how simple and easy it is to be able to create a staging site and then synchronize those sites, push the data back and forth between. So allowing you to be able to test things out, safe in the knowledge you've got redundancy, taking snapshots, should anything ever happen when you're dealing with that merging process. As always, all the applicable links for everything I've covered are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.